All right, all right. It's Brother John back with you, and I wanted to share a little testimony of back when I was a truck driver, I was headed north on I-75 out of Chattanooga, headed toward Knoxville, and a bull holler passed me, and we got to talking on the CB, and he asked me, he said, are you a Christian? And I said, yes, sir. He said, can I share with you what God did for me? I said, sure. And uh, so he told me, he said, I used to be the worst meth addict you ever seen. He said, I, I was hooked on drugs for over 35 years. And uh, he said, I would constantly keep my family broke. He said, I was all the time taking all the money out of the checking account. He said, never had a good place to live. He said, I, I, I left on a big truck four days after I got married. And he said, my wife stayed with me for those 35 years through all the hard times and hard, he said, I'd be gone five, six months at a time. He said, because I cared more about dope than I did my family. And uh, so he said one night that he was at a, a barn picking up cows in central Georgia and said the manager of the barn come out there and got to talking with him. And he said, I need to ask you for forgiveness. He said, forgiveness, what do you, what do you mean? I, what, what do you need forgiven for? He said, because God's told me three times tonight to come and tell you that he loves you and that I love you, and I haven't done it because you're high. And he said he got emotional, and uh, he just thought, well, I, I'm just, you know, I got some bad drugs. And uh, he said he shook it off. He got in the truck. He left. He says, God came to him and told him. He said, if you'll throw those drugs away, I'll carry you the rest of the way. So he said I, he threw all his drugs out because he thought he had gotten something bad. So later he got some more, and he said the second time that week, he said God came to him. He said, if you'll throw those drugs away, I'll carry you the rest of the way. He said the third time, God came to him. He said, this is the last time. I'm not coming again. He said, if you'll throw those drugs away, I'll carry you the rest of the way. He said, so he hit the shoulder in the trucks about 2 o'clock in the morning, spit in snow. He grabs everything he had. He even had a set of scales to make sure that the dealers weren't shorting him. He runs out in the ditch, and he said, where I fell, and I left all those drugs, he said, is where God delivered me from my habit. He said, so I got myself together. He said, I was just crying. He said, the only thing I knew to say was, Jesus saved me. Jesus saved me. He said, he calls his wife. She starts crying. She said, I've prayed for you for 35 years. I didn't think you were ever going to change. She said, I have divorce papers in there on the table. She said, but I'm not going to sign them because I want to see what God has to do with you. Y'all wanted to share that story with you. I get chill bumps every time I tell it because I know that man was telling me the truth. And that's where I get God loves you and I love you and I hope you have a good day.